Here's Weeks, or Weeksy, she's called. We've been to Weeksy a few times, haven't we, baby? Hey! So she's arrived this morning. Um, had a good feel of the coach. She is clumped down her sides here. Tommy's uh, knotty. So the only thing I can do for her, I mean, the coat to the eye, it looks like she's just a long haired coat. But when you actually feel it, those pelts are underneath, deep underneath the coat. So full clip for weeks, isn't it? So we've started on the head, already got some bits out of her. She, oh dear. Done her claws, just starting on the top now. She's always very chatty, aren't you? Hey, always very chatty. She likes to give us all the gossip, don't you? Hey, never been any different, have you, Weeks? Hmm. So again, behind the ears, she's knotted. You can always feel them. It's where they wash. She's got those little lugs there. Usually you can just get your comb in and tease them. And then once you've loosened them a bit, you can just get them with your fingers. I know, baby cakes. I know. Good girl, aren't you? Hey. He's a good girl. So that's her head done. Just check this here. I think this one's okay on this side, isn't it? Oh dear. So it's just little by little with the molten comb. So you're happy that there's nothing hiding. Then you can have a good feel with your fingers. Nothing under there. Anything under this chin? Hey. Let's have a little feel. I can't feel anything. I'll just put the comb through. Okay. The comb will tell us. Yes, there's some stuff there. Oh, oh, we're having a purry purry. Are we? Oh, is that lovely, Weeks? Is that a lovely? Oh, she says, oh, that's, that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. If he's not, he's, that's the wonder bit. We're going to clip under a tummy anyway, so I don't, I'm not too bothered about coming down here. I'm on the breastbone across her there, which as far as I'll go with the bib. And then that will be the clipping underneath. There she is. Well, that's a good girly. Isn't it? Hey? Eh? Once you had them collar done. And now to start on the old clippy clips. Hmm? She's got a thick, thick coat. It's getting underneath it to start with. It's the... <laughs> She's saying, get those nasties off me, will you please? There we go, we're underneath now. She's helping now, Nita. She is helping. <laughs> Auntie Nita, hey. You see, I can't, those clippers won't go through. Uh, because there's tight pelts there. Good girl. I oh, should be glad when that's off. Yeah. You help him, she Mama. always helps us, doesn't she? She's, <laughs> she's <laughs> never been any different this weeks, have you? Hey, she always likes to help get these clumps off. Yeah, we're hitting quite a bit of uh, mat in there. Oh, don't be eating it, missus. 
So a big problem I do come across with um, owners. A lot of owners will try and buy a pair of clippers themselves, watch some videos on the internet, and then go and clip the, or try and clip the cats. Um, and I have seen so many cats with injuries where the clippers have caught skin and they've ripped the skin open because the clippers are on a very, very high setting, which means you're basically balding the cat, you're taking everything off, and you're taking them to sort of a surgery level of taking the coat off completely. And the trick is you don't need to do that. You need to be at a length on the clippers where you're, you're short enough to get under the mats to remove them. But you want to leave some coat on the body. Because they're not going for surgery. <laughs> and uh, we've been to quite a few, Steve, haven't we, when... Yeah. We've arrived, the cats have been cut and sliced and half jobs and then <clears throat> we end up having half a cat appear saying from the owners saying can you sort that out because I've frightened myself because I've cut the cat and can you finish it off. I was trying to save money by doing it myself and I realise now it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> yes weeks. Because the problem is you've got a moving animal and you're trying to clip with extremely sharp blades and uh, it only takes a single move from the cat and you can do some damage to them. Which is why it's always better to go to a pro, to a professional groomer who's used to handling Yes, Mrs. And it's better than having them sedated, isn't it? And of course, we don't sedate either. No. So, because uh, quite a few will go to the vets. We've had numerous before clients have discovered us. They've gone to the vets with the cats, and not all vets, but a lot of them will sedate the cats to clip them. And they don't clip them all over. They will clip the bare sort of whatever's needed away so you'll end up with a very patchy looking cat where they would just shave the bits away that's mainly needed um, and you're still left with the rest of the coat to then sort out itself so this is the best thing for them I don't think the vets are there for that though are they're not there it's not their job that grooming is it you know no. they're there for the health of the cat so they'll do the burning and it's needed to get them out of pain with the pelts um, they're not there to make the cat look pretty or anything. Oh, she's enjoying that. Good girl, he weeks. Oh, is that nice? Mm. Oh, is that nice? Oh, she's definitely got a scratch. Right, shall we catch her later then? Yeah, we'll carry on. Wow. Oh, weeksy. She's renowned at home, this little lady. She goes wandering, don't you? And all the neighbours know her. She's the king of the street. And she's <laughs> she the is. queen of the street. The queen of the street. Yeah. Everybody knows Wixie, don't they? Hey, uh, wait till I see your new haircut again. Yeah. She's a good girl, eh? Good girl. Oh, here she is. Chatterbox she is. Little chatterbox. So this is Weeksy. She's had a lion, haven't you? She's just had her face washed. 
as well, like most Persians, they're quite happy to get their eyes done and all that sort of debris from either side of the nose removed. So she's had a full lion. Such a little girly. It's a big, big fluffy coat. Wasn't it? Hey. She natters all the way through. Don't you? Hey. I'm just checking. Nothing left in here. Little tiny mats. Nothing there. It's all good. Hey. Should we just finish on this little bit? Because I know you love this bit. You've been a very good girly, haven't you? Hey, you've been a very good girl. And now you can start afresh with a new coat, all mat free. There she is. Beautiful, ain't you? Hey, cheeky bum. Yeah, good girly.